everyone. Today we discuss about the Power BI uh, dashboard data sets. So uh, for the Power BI, when you want to create the dashboards, then you want the different data, right? So these data are from the different different data sets, and these data sets are located for uh, in different different data sources. So today we discuss about how we can uh, get the data into Power BI with different data sources. So for that, we uh, fetch the data as Excel file and MySQL database table. So I have one data sets. <clears throat> there some files are in Excel. Some files are in Excel format. So data source. So I have some Excel formats files and there is some MySQL database files. Okay. So I want this data into Power BI to draw some dashboards or to create dashboards okay so for that we extract data or we fetch data from these different different sources so how we can do so with the help of practical we can check this how we can get the data like excel format into power bi and mysql database table format into Power BI. So let's start. So open your Power BI app like this. And then there are some different, different formats. Like on the screen, there are some different basic MySQL Excel format, SQL Server format, blank table, sample data sets. Here are the some uh, quick connections, or here are some more examples for to or to get data from different sources. So there are some Excel workbooks, Power BI data sets, data flow, like there are in more, there are different different files, like files, database, Microsoft. Fabric, Power Platform, Azure, like Cloud Platform, Online Services, and other. So we can extract or we can fetch data from Excel workbook and from this MySQL database server. Okay. So how we can fetch? So with the help of some example, we can check this. For that, I have some excel workbook data sets and some power uh, some data mysql database table okay so first we get data from excel data sets okay so for that go to get data and click on excel workbook so i have these data sets here so i face these category data sets click on the categories and open then this data set is loaded into power bi once the data set is loaded if in your worksheet there are different different sheets then here we have a choice which sheet you want in your Power BI data sets. So I want the second number sheet categories into Power BI. So I select this sheet. You can select multiple sheet as well as all sheets or any one single sheet. So I select only one sheet as categories and here is the data which is present in your category sheets. So I load this data sheet.
So if the data set is loaded into Power BI, then you can see this the table. which is loaded so it will take some time to load so if your data set is loaded then you see like this the category data set is loaded and it's it having these different different columns so category and category key are the columns for the category. Then again, with the help of this quick launch, we can import our data set as geography. So I select geography, open. So in the geography Excel workbook, there is only one geography sheet. So I select this and check this data, which is present in geography sheet and load this data. <clears throat> okay. So here geography data set is loaded and there are three different different columns shown in the this table okay so now we can load our sales representative data open then here is sales representative data so there are two sheets so i select which one i want so i want this sheet okay and load this Okay, so here sales representative table having two columns, column one and column two. Then again, we load the subcategory table or subcategory Excel workbook. And here I select which sheet I want. So I select this. And load. Okay. So here is subcategory uh, data sheet as loaded and there are three different different columns. Now, I want the data set which is present in my MySQL database server. So here is one table as product. So I want this data into Power BI. So how we can load the MySQL server database data table into Power BI. So let's check. So go to the get data. Go to the more. And here is the database category. So select database category. Here are the different different database category servers are present. So we have MySQL database server. So I select MySQL and connect. Okay. So for that, your MySQL is running in background okay so to connect this mysql server 
here its server name is required so for that you have mysql server which is running on local host so your pc is one server and its name is local host so type here local host so which database you want to connect so database name is important for the connection so i want to connect this cds 16 database so here i put cda 16 database name as database name and then okay So in CDS 16 database, there is a product table. So here, uh, Power BI show you the database table. So select this table, then you see here the all records from this table and load this table. Okay, so database table is loaded in your Power BI. So here is the CDA 16 product database. And these are the different different columns which are present in your product table. Okay, so this is the process to connect your MySQL database server to Power BI application. Okay, okay. Now, one important is if you have different different files, you have a one folder, you have one folder, and in that, in that there are so many files are separated, which are having same uh, properties of the worksheet okay like consider you have a sales data so in the folder you have a 2014 sales data 2015 sales data 2016 sales data likewise so you have a different different excel workbooks or excel sheets of different different year sales data so i want load all these files at once okay so for that we check how we can load the folder into power bi application so go to the power bi and go to the get data then more and select file select file category and here is the product sorry here is the folder option so select this folder and connect so for the connection go to the folder which folder contains all your files which you want to load in your power bi application so go to that folder like okay so here is the folder contains cells so this sales folder contains different different sales files of each and every year so select this folder and click on okay then there is There we get these four files. These four files 2014, 15, 16, and 17. These are the different different files are present in sales folder. 
Okay, these are the CSV files. So we want to load all these sales files into one file in my Power BI. So here is the option combine. So this combine option combine all these files into one Excel sheet. So click on combine. Okay, just click on combine and load. So there it will take some time to combine and load. Okay, this screen shows you the files. Okay, the data here is from first file. Okay, the data is from first file. So all these files are combined into one file. So click on OK. Then you will get all four file four files data into one file. There is some process going on to combine the data. So sales data. Okay. So click on close here. Some data is loaded. Okay. And here you get the sales table. And in that, these are the different, different files. Sorry, these are the different, different columns of the sales. Okay. If you want to check all these data sets and their records, so go to into table view and check each and every table data. So here is category table, the category table having two columns with their different records, then product table, product table having these columns and these uh, different different records, then geography table having three columns and these records, then sales table, then sales table having these different different columns and here is the first column as source.name means the record is from which file showing in your first column. These are the these are the all records from 2014 file and these are the records from 2015 files and if you go down these are the records from 2016 files all these records are combined into one file with the help of Power BI we can do this and then go to the sales representative table here is, here are the two columns and these are the some records and subcategory table are the three columns and these some records so how we can load the data from different different data sources like uh, your excel workbook like mysql server like uh, folder okay we, uh, folder which contains the uh, so many files at same format so how we can load the data from different different data sources we see this okay so for today we stop here tomorrow we continue this process to transform data, okay? Thank you.